Tyler here, and we're back again with what's new at GP Knives. Let's jump right in. So today we're gonna to start out with some Olight. Here we have one of the smallest USB rechargeable lights around. This is the Olight i1R2 Pro. Great little keychain light, very simple operation. You can unscrew it all the way to access the USB charging port for convenient recharge. Simply press it back together and twist. The light is in the ready position here. And then you do a twist to low and a full twist to high. So very simple, straightforward keychain light, solid aluminum body, high quality LED, and we've got this in both blue and black aluminum. Next up, we've got the new i3T Plus. So the plus indicates the two AAA platform here versus the i3T, which is just a single AAA. So a bit longer, but the same pin style format of the body. We've got a helical milling on the body as well. So good traction for use two position clip and this one's going to have an output of 15 for the low and 250 for the high and just a simple two mode operation full click for continuous and you can see it has a nice gradual shift there between the two and you can also half press for momentary next up we'll take a look at the O-Pin Pro. So the O-Pin was their first pin light combination. This has a similar form factor. We've got the fluted milling on the aluminum barrel here. We've got a bolt action pin mechanism, very smooth in operation. The pin and the light can be used together or removed for use as two separate units. And then the light is housed in the clip end here and I'll show you quickly the operation. On the O-Pin Pro here, we have the operation through the bolt. So you actually press up on the bolt and that's on off. Press and hold from on to cycle through the different modes. And then another feature of the O-Pin Pro, we've got a green laser pointer and that is coming from the end of the barrel here. So a great multifunctional pin and lighting solution for daily carry. And we've got this in the black aluminum as well as a nice antiqued copper, a bit more heft in the hand, but a great look and feel. And of course, copper being naturally antimicrobial. So a nice benefit there as well. And I'll take this apart again just to show the function of the light separately from the pen. And you can also see here, we've got the USB charging port and operation is gonna be the same. So press and hold the cycle, single press on off and press and hold for the laser. And next up, we are proud to announce that we are now carrying Hella Knives of Norway. These are hand fit and finished knives made with modern production techniques and modern blade materials in a traditional style with great functionality as well as heirloom quality. We have a few of their models here out on the table. We'll take a look first at the SCOG, and this is a carving style knife, so a bit smaller while being versatile enough in the design to be used as a general woods knife or backup knife. We've got a blade of Hella's triple laminate stainless steel. So we've got a core of a stainless steel that is gonna be similar to 12C27 from Sandvik. And that is sandwiched between two pieces of milder steel. And that's gonna give a more flexible blade that is also a bit more durable and offers enhanced corrosion resistance as well. All of these blades come with a razor sharp modified Scandi grind so you can see fairly short grind height and a slight micro bevel at the edge for added strength and easy sharpening. They all have pretty full handles. The SCOG 
offers great control on the beechwood handle here. And as you can see, it's got a through tang and that's gonna keep your hand away from cold metal in a cold environment. And it's a pretty prominent feature on many Scandinavian knives, such as the Hella knives here. And they also come with a Norwegian style pouch sheath. So a nice secure carry, high quality sheath, and just a very simple and effective design. Next up, we've got a slightly larger knife here. This is the Gro, and this one has a solid 12C27 Sandvik blade, so a bit more stiff for added control. Same drop point profile with the modified Scandi grind. We have a dark dyed birch wood here, and we've got a very large handle and a fairly prominent guard as well as a pommel swell here in the back. And that just gives a little added safety and control. And that's perfect for this knife as it is designed for beginner or intermediate knife users who are looking to increase their skill with knife handling and wood carving. And along with that design in mind, it's got a slightly modified sheath here. So it's got a cutout for that guard and it gives a little added safety in carry as well. Next up, we have the Egan, and this also has a solid 12C27 Sandvik blade. This one has a highly figured curly birchwood handle, and this is just gonna be a great mid-size outdoor field knife. It's got a very high performance slicing blade with a fairly thin stock and that modified Scandi grind. A nice generous full grip on there. And the curly birch handle just makes it a great heirloom quality piece with a lot of visual aesthetic appeal. This one also has a Scandinavian style pouch sheath and it has some tooling on there as well as a nice contrasting white stitch on that dark black leather. And last but certainly not least, we have the Didi Galgalu. And this is one of the few full tang designs that they offer, so more of a Western style design. And this was actually designed in collaboration with an adventure documentary crew that works primarily in Africa, which is where the knife takes its name from, a desert in Northern Kenya. This one has a solid 12C27 blade as well. So a nice robust blade. We've got handles of a proprietary material called the Kebony. And Kebony is actually a softwood that has been bio-treated through a special process that makes it behave similar to a tropical hardwood. So a great sustainable product there that gives you hardwood performance in a more budget-friendly and sustainable platform. Brass rivets attach it to the full tang over some slightly contrasting liners. The large handle gives you multiple grip options, so it can be gripped towards the back for heavier use or close to the blade for fine and controlled use. And again, we've got just a nice high quality leather pouch sheath. And as you can see, we've got the outline of the continent of Africa on there and that goes along with the name and the design of the blade. And moving from Hella Knives of Norway over to some Danish designs, we have the Giant Mouse Knives Nimbus V2. So this is designed by Jens Anso and Jesper Voxnes, who are the primary designers for Giant Mouse Knives. You get that Puko style look in a modern liner lock folder. This is the newer stonewashed and natural micarta variant. And they're gonna have identical designs with just different finishes. So we've got the opening hole on the blade here. We've got a bronze washer pivot, steel liners, and nicely contoured scales on there. Open back construction, and a reversible tip up stainless steel wire clip. And that makes this knife an ambidextrous design. So solid for left or right handed users. And as I said previously, we've got both variants, and this is the satin blade with green canvas micarta, and both blades are gonna come in LMAX stainless steel, 
which is going to offer a nice balance of performance. And next up, we have a fun design from D-Rocket Designs, the single action out the front talon. So for a single action, you have automatic deployment. And then to ready it for deployment again, you press the button lock and slide the slide down. We've got a slide safety on the top here to prevent unintentional deployment when carrying. And then for the materials, we've got a Bowler M390 blade. So a nice high stain resistant steel and then full titanium for the handles and a full titanium milled pocket clip as well. And while it is more of a right-handed design, this knife can be used and carried left-handed as well, thanks to the top button here, as well as the double edge blade design. And speaking of automatics, we have the Heretic Knives Manticore S, their smallest version. And we've got this in the new fluted handle design with stainless steel top slide. So just a great compact EDC out the front. This is a double action. So comparing that to the single action, you can see you've got both forward and reverse action. And we also have the Heretic Knives Manticore E. This is their everyday carry model. And you can see it's just a bit larger than that Manticore S. So a nice full-sized utility blade. This one has the fluted handle in orange, which is a color we have not had before. And this one just makes a great daily carry knife. Nice snappy action. And of course, Heretic knives are made in the USA. Again, this is Tyler with What's New at GP Knives. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, like and subscribe below and follow us on social media for updates on all new products.